And oh, my camera man. <laughs> Okay, we thought we were um, we were videoing, but we weren't. But we weren't. My cameraman sucks. Uh, camera woman. Okay, cameraman. Uh, who do you want to hear? Hey, give a shout, uh, out to? shout out to um, Tamara Man. Not Tamara Man. Her, her name is not Tamara Man. What's her name? Terryann. Terryann, hi, it's me, White Monkey. I'm hoping everything is good. You, I mean, you're in my prayers. You'll be out of there in no time. Keep keep it up, okay. Monkey spirit. He's <laughs> <laughs> too bad. All right. Our discussion today is... Vigilantes. Vigilantes. Uh, we all know that white monkeys... We have to find, first of all, we have to um, give our people, explain to them what a vigilante... Because remember, we're from Africa. That's where, that's where white monkey came from. That's where the dictator came from. But I don't think um, everyone is aware... Of um, what a vigilante is. So can you please explain it to them? Okay. A vigilante is someone who illegally punishes an alleged lawbreaker or participates in a group. You know, um, it could include members of a, a neighborhood watch program and others who use legal means of bringing people to justice. In and other words, are, in other words, vigilantes is people like you and I yes. that just take over, uh -huh. just take over because the damn government and the police force can't do shit. That's what it means. The reason why we're talking about vigilantes today is because, as you all are aware of the crisis in Africa where uh, Boko Haram... You know, has taken over. What do you want? You don't have to whisper. You don't. You're you're on camera. Oh. You don't. Have oh, can to I have a cam? Um, uh, uh, yeah. No. Okay. Ay ay ay. Okay. Go ahead. Go ahead. Keep it up. Okay. Uh, Boko Haram is that mother. Okay. He um, you know the. That's not how you spell girls, though. Bring In Africa, girls. that's the way we spell it. But, oh, okay. But you're not from Africa. Okay. I'm not from Africa. I'm the white monkey, remember? Okay. Uh, oh my god, Jesus Christ. Okay. As you all know, as you are all aware, the reason why, you know, we find um Vigilante. some sort of uh connection with uh Boko Haram and vigilantes is because um white monkey here was from Africa. Right. Before she was reincarnated. Right. And so she feels a certain way when it comes to people not doing what they're supposed to do in Africa as far as bringing back the right. girls. Right, because remember, remember, mm -hmm. my, my first owner, my first owner was a good man. I wasn't a man. No, you wasn't my first owner. You was a freaking Baha Haram. I wasn't Boko Haram. You used to kill a lot of people. Yes, but my enemies. Nah, oh, nah, oh, you were your enemies. Because my master was not your enemy. You just killed him because you wanted the monkey. Wait, what? No. Yeah, that's the only reason. Remember, you was very selfish. Did you not remember? You got to go back and listen to White Monkey. You was very selfish. You, you could, if you would have stayed in Africa, you would have been another Baha Ay, 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 ay. What I'm saying is, you, you, if you would have stayed in Africa, you would have been just like Baha Maham. I wouldn't though. Because you used to kill, you used to kill a lot of innocent people. No, 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 not innocent people. They used to be my enemies. But they why? used to try to kill me. Why? Why though? Because I had a white monkey. A white monkey that didn't belong to you. Because you killed the white monkey's master. But anyway, let's not even go there because that's a whole different video. That we have to do a part two of White Monkey because, you know, we're talking about vigilantes. That's what we're talking about. Okay. If I was in Africa, I would be a vigilante too. You know, because it's like I was telling you. We have to take matters on, into our own hands. I don't know if it's that corruption is very, very high or is that we have a lot of corrupted cops. Or maybe we don't have enough because you know how they're cutting, 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 cutting all kinds of jobs. What they do what? They would do what? They're doing... They're cutting everything, cutting cops, cutting firemen, cutting all kinds of people. They just cutting hours, 
cutting hours. We know about that shit. You know, fucking always cutting hours. So, you know, customer service here at work is never going to be the same. Why? Because they're cutting my hours. Fuck customer service. Okay, back back to Boko Haram. Why, okay. why, why are you coming off the topic? All right, all right. You know, <laughs> you know, you talk about cutting hours. And that's what business me off because fucking I used to work 65 hours. I'm down to 30 hours. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> So it's like, fuck, you know, how can you live over 30 hours? Wait, 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 that's, that's White Monkey 7. We're not talking about jobs now. We're talking about okay. fucking vigilante. All right, okay, okay. The reason, Damn. okay, all right, I, I, you know how I get all excited, but the reason vigilantes are taking over, <laughs> this is why, because they're cutting, <laughs> you know, we have no jobs, we have no cops, we have no farming, we have no security, we don't have shit. You know what I'm saying? So, what do people do? People are like, you know what? Fuck this shit. We're going to take matters into our own hands. And uh -huh. I think they're doing an awesome job. Because guess what? What? These girls... These girls have been missing for a month and a half already. Mm -hmm. And the cops, and the cops, government, army... How many people are there? Great Britain, Israel, U.S., China, Russia... Everybody's there. Wait, no, what are no, they no. having? A face with the government? No, no, no. What are Obama you just sent 80 more fucking troops there, right? Huh? What are they doing? Are they just having a face? Because nobody's doing shit. These vigilantes that they just they just opened those and they said, you know what? Fuck this shit. You Fuck know? That. Yeah. How many people haven't they killed? They've killed a bunch of Boko Haram's people exactly and they saved a whole village exactly. and they're taking matters into their you own hands you see what hands. i'm saying now great britain's got 300 men there what? the u.s got 500 men there fucking china what happened to china china got china, billions you know how much China's they are got a whole bunch of ninjas there <laughs> okay a whole bunch of what a whole bunch of ninjas so all these people are in africa where the fuck are they what are they doing they're practicing their kung fu what seals are there you know what I'm saying? No, what what seals is a store? Oh, like, that's my favorite store. I keep saying that. I'm oh sorry, not what seals. What are they called? Navy seals? Oh, Whatever the fucking God. kind of seals they are. They ain't doing shit. All these people are in Nigeria right now. And my question is, my fellow Americas, um, Tangerine, I want to really thank you. Who? Um, Tangerine, I really want to thank Who's you for Tangerine? following. Me. Tangerine, our friend. Oh, Terry Oh, her, her. <laughs> Tangerine. I really want to thank her, and I want to thank all my, you know, my followers. But my question is, these people have been there for two weeks, okay? Everybody. Actually, Obama, three, three weeks. Obama has been sending people like there's no tomorrow. He's taking people out of everything. You know what? I'm telling you, we are going to get bombed so <laughs> hard. It's not even going to be funny. This is not a joke, my fellow Americans. I'm telling you, Obama is taking everybody from Afghanistan and he's sending them to fucking Nigeria. But nothing's being done. Where are all these fucking people that are there? They're gathering intels. Okay, I guess what's happening while they're gathering intels? Fucking the vigilantes are just killing all these motherfuckers. And I bet you anything that guess who's going to pick, who's going to find Baha Uh The vigilantes? Thank you very much. There you go. You know there's no coffee there, right? They are the right? ones that are going to... Huh? You know I'm making no, believe, dummy. There's they, no coffee in there. If you're going to act like you're an actress, you need to actually act like you're swallowing. Isn't the coffee hot? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Ooh, I burned myself. Excuse me. <laughs> but listen, these vigilantes are the ones that are going to bring these girls back. I'm telling you. They are the ones that are going to bring those girls back. Great Britain, they got a, they got a badass army. Mm -hmm. China! Yeah, I know. There are a lot of them. China! They're all, they all know karate. I know, right? Why the fuck? They don't even need weapons to fight. No. You see the way they... Have you ever watched karate movies? The way they go and they snap their neck and they're dead? I know. Or they take an uh, arm and you're dead? I know. So why can't they do that to Baha Haram? Is my question. I guess Baha Haram is also a Chinese expert. But why does it... My question is, why the vigilantes are not scared of Baha Haram? Because they're just like them. You know, they're Nigerians. They know how to 
maneuver certain areas. I don't know. I don't know. I just, they could ask somebody who knows somebody who knows somebody who knows somebody. No, that's not true. That's not true because all those people that they killed, the the vigilantes didn't go looking for them. They came into their town. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So mm -hmm. it wasn't like they know somebody, they know somebody. No, they came into their town and they said, you know what? Fuck this shit. <laughs> and they killed everybody. But they don't have um, but you know magazine what the problem guns, is? though. But you know what the problem is? What? United States, being all sophisticated with their faggoty self. Fa oh, Jesus, no, you shouldn't have said that. Okay, sorry, I'll take that back. Um, you as being all sophisticated, let's say, you know, they don't want to kill civilians. They don't want to kill this. They don't want to kill cows. They don't want to kill goats. That is why we are where we are. If you're a terrorist, kill them. Kill them. But U.S. is like, oh, no. Oh, no. We're too sophisticated. We can't do that. Oh, we're sophisticated. You know what I mean? <laughs> we're sophisticated. We're not going to do that. We can't kill people. Let me tell you something. My, my apartment next door to mine is empty. Guess what? What? Girl, when I was off, I'm walking, minding my business. Walking to my house, right? I see five damn burritos. <gasps> Girl, I am so much praying to my Lord Jesus that they do not rent there. When I saw all those burritos, I almost passed out. Oh shit, they moved in right beside you. They want to look at it. They haven't moved in. And I hope they don't qualify because they got too much clothes on or something. Oh my God, you're yes, going to die. I was so scared. Girl, five burritos. Five burrito <laughs> women and two burrito men. <gasps> yes. Yes. I think you should tell those people that no. I am going to let the association know. Uh-uh. They got too much clothes on. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Something's got to be done. I don't want these burritos living next to me. Uh-uh. Uh-uh-uh. Girl, they could be fucking... Pla they, they're smart. They could be in there fucking with their computers, planning all these bombs, and guess who's the first one to go? You know it's Spanish or black? You. Me. <laughs> me. <laughs> because the one in front is white, the one next to me is white. I'm the only little Spanish girl right in the middle of all these fucking burritos. So I'm going to be the first one to go. So I am praying to my Lord Jesus, and I know he listens, that they do Don't not qualify. qualify to get that apartment. Shit. I couldn't believe when I saw those burritos. Oh but anyway, God. getting back to this vigilantes. I'm sorry that I, you know, detour, but I just needed to bring that in because just in case you die, yeah, it's just the burritos. Case, yeah. You know, you guys already know. It's if I burrito. get killed by a tomato, it was a burrito. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, so this is what I'm saying. What I'm saying is I don't understand. You know what I'm saying? This world is just upside down. That's all it is. Everything is just going bananas. People are doing whatever the fuck they want to do. I don't know what's up with the army. I don't know if they're playing cards, they're playing poker, or they're, you know, I don't know what they're doing. Because there's a lot of people there. And they, they've been there for, what, three weeks now? Mm -hmm. They haven't even killed a fly. I know. But these vigilantes already killed about, what, 80 people? They killed a lot of 80 people. 80 of the Baham Hamas? Yeah. You know, so it's like, where's the force? Mm -hmm. Where is the force? Mm -hmm. You know, I it's like I said, I do not feel secure anymore. Mm -hmm. If I had a place to go, I would not be in U.S. right now. Dominican Republic is open. Well, that's not my home, though. Well, Puerto Rico, you can't go because they stabbed <laughs> right? everybody. Puerto Rico is just like being here. You know what I'm saying? Oh, I Jesus. Can't where can you go? Edlin, there's no fucking... Uh, what are you drinking? Well, you know that most anchor people, they drink coffee. Okay, that's what I'm doing. So you're anchor? Yeah, I'm an anchor woman. I, I, I relate the news to my fellow... But I'm a ghetto anchor woman, you know what I'm saying? I speak to my ghetto people, you know what I mean? Oh, yeah, yeah, this yeah. is this is ghetto channel. <laughs> Breaking the best to you. <laughs> hey, Tangerine, how you doing? Terry Ann. Yeah, her. <laughs> but listen, so you know, so that's that's what we're facing. You know what I'm saying? That is exactly what we're facing right now. Um, I don't know. <laughs> Barack. What's his name? Barack? Boko Haram. Oh my God. What? I just realized something. No, I'm not gonna do it. I we're signing off. Boko Haram and Barack Obama are not the same. No, their names sound familiar though. No, we're gonna sign off. No, we're not. We're not. We're not. Okay. Hey, Barack Obama. <laughs>
paper. I, come on. I love you. I love what you're doing for this country. <laughs> All right, guys. Have a good day. I, I, I got to get my, my stuff together. Bye, Tangerine. My God.